Hey everyone, here's another quick tip on how to render play blasts out of Maya for your animations. I will also cover tips on how to improve the quality of your play blasts with Viewport 2.0. So with that, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in Maya and before we get to the play blast, there's a few settings that we have to take care of before that. So go ahead to your render settings at the top and you want to make sure to pay attention to the resolution. Here I'm just using a standard 16 by 9 HD resolution. And now that I know the resolution, I want to make sure to go ahead and enable resolution gate right in the viewport icons. So go ahead and enable that. And what this is going to do is go ahead and make sure that I know exactly what's going to be rendering in my final animation. The next thing that we need to do is take a look at our time slider settings here. So under our animation preferences in the bottom right corner, go ahead and hit that and you'll take a look at the frame rate and that could be 24 or 30 or whatever you're rendering here. And then you'll look at the play black, uh, playback speed here for play every frame. Now right now, if I go ahead and play this and move this over, you'll see how fast this animation is playing. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually change my camera here so I can see uh, what's going on. So I'm gonna do narrow. And if I go ahead and play the animation, you see how fast this is going, right? So that's why we wanna make sure to change this to 30 frames or whatever your target frame rate is. So once you go ahead and do that and hit save, you can go ahead and now take a look at the animation playing in real time. Now, the reason I'm showing this is because I want you to be careful of how your viewport is playing back your animations. Most, a lot of times, this is fine to get a good sense of the uh, animation and the speed and everything that's happening. But the key thing that you have to keep in mind is that, is that this is real time performance. This is hardware dependent. So this is why we want to go through the process of rendering out a play blast. So then now to render out a play blast, right? Because the problem is again, is if your hardware isn't as strong, or if you have a very complex scene, you'll get frame drops just like you would in a game engine, right? So now I'll go to Windows, Play Blast, and hit the options. And we get Play Blast options here. Now this is gonna be based off of our current time slider, and you can modify the settings here if you wanted to say, well, you know what, I only want the first half of the animation for whatever reason. I'm gonna just stick with the time slider. And then I'm gonna make sure pretty much to keep all of these settings by default, all right? Now, the key thing here is if I actually go ahead and reset settings here, you'll see kind of what we're left with, or what we start with, I should say. So you can see encoding is set to non, format is AVI, quality is 70. What I'm gonna do is, is just simply go ahead and create a play blast. Now, keep in mind also, is that this is going to be based off of your Maya project, all right? It's going to create a movies folder. So I'll go ahead and hit apply and let's see what happens. So it's gonna go ahead and kick off the animation and there we go. And so now we get this video that pops up. And take a look at the overall quality. Right out the gate, this is really, really low quality. And I can actually just set this to repeat so we can kind of see how this is playing. And you can see that we're not able to focus on the animation itself, right? We can see that we have things selected in here. The aliasing is really bad. The resolution is really bad. And it just doesn't look good. All right. So with that, we want to go ahead and improve the overall play blast. So what I want to do is go ahead and go back and open up our play blast options and go here. And we're going to want to crank up a few settings. I'm going to go ahead and leave format to AVI. I'm going to leave encoding to none because what encoding does is that it's going to try to compress the video. I don't want any compression to happen until after the frames have been captured. So I'll go ahead now and just crank up quality to at least 90. Then I can go ahead and set scale to one. And then we'll leave frame padding as is. And then what I also want to do is save to file. Okay. And so now if we go ahead and just see that we have play blast demo one and I'll add underscore one and I won't change where this is saving. I'll actually show you exactly where that saves next. So then go ahead and hit apply and let's see what happens. So you can see it's going through and my machine is actually working much harder uh, to do this right now. So if we go ahead and let that finish and here comes the video and there we go. So we're already starting to get a much better looking video, but you can start to see that the playback 
is starting to chug a bit. Why is that happening? Because if we take a look at this AVI, it's a fairly large AVI given that it's only a few seconds long. It's eight seconds long and it's almost nearly one gig. So that's no problem. We're gonna talk about compression here in a second. So we're starting to get better results here just with the overall quality. So the next thing that I want to do is take a look at Viewport 2.0. This is gonna help us get even better visuals uh, out of our Play Blast. So if we go here to Render, Viewport 2.0, go ahead and hit the options here, and then let's take a look at what, some things that we can enable. What I wanna do first is go ahead and enable Screen Space Ambient Occlusion, and that's gonna give us some nice depth. Uh, ambient Occlusion is just, and this is a screen space effect, right? And it's just gonna kind of do this nice screen space uh, occlusion where it's gonna darken areas where there's a lot of detail and crevices and where you would typically get from occluding light. I am gonna lower the radius quite a bit because I don't really like the effect that much, and I can even reduce the amount. And I can leave this at 16 samples, it's fine. So the next thing that I can take a look at, if you want, you can always add motion blur if you want. Right now I'm doing a camera animation. I mean, you can, we'll see what that looks like. We'll just enable it by default. And then the other most important one is anti-aliasing. So take a look now. You can see all the aliasing and jagged edges that's happening. So if I go ahead and one, enable smooth wireframe, so it applies it to the wireframes as well, and do multi-sampling anti-aliasing and then you can see that look at that look how nice that cleans that up and you can even crank that up to 16 keep in mind that it, this is multi-sampling so it's taking the image and sampling it much higher uh, at a high resolution and then bring it back down so these are all again hardware dependent so this is going to impact your gpu now the good thing again is we're capturing frames so as the play blast goes it's going to capture frame by frame and then it's going to put that into the video. So now that I have that, I can go back to my Play Blast options here. And we can see we have these settings here, which I'm pretty much just going to keep the same. I mean, you could increase quality to 100 to get even a larger video and leave scale. So really just cranking all of this up. So what I'll go ahead and do now is hit apply. Uh, actually, I don't want to overwrite that. Instead, I want to just simply go ahead and add an underscore two so we can kind of see the differences that are happening. So I can go ahead and play that, let that run through. And it's basically taking, you know, about less than a second a frame, which is really nice. And then we're gonna see what happens with the final result that's being output. All right, great, so that's done there. And there we go. It's starting to look really, really good and we get a, a, a good eight seconds worth of animation. You can see the motion blur is blurring between frames and it's a subtle effect. I, I don't wanna go any more than this. And we have the ambient occlusion. So what I want to do now is take a look at taking this video, which is fairly large, again, about a gig, and we want to compress this down. Now, you can use a free open source tool like Handbrake, I always recommend this, or you can use Adobe Encoder to do this as well. So if I simply drag and drop this into Encoder, and we're just gonna use H.264, which is what Handbrake is. Handbrake automatically just does it um, to MP4, so if you wanted to uh, find the source here, you can go ahead and add that there. And you can just grab this right here and add AVI. So it's, it, you can go ahead and add it there with from source, open file, grab the AVI and you're good. And then you can go ahead and start that. And then, oh, you need to just obviously make sure to save it uh, pretty much in the same location. And so we can say handbrake test and we can go ahead and hit start. And it's a pretty quick uh, compression or conversion. It's only eight seconds. So now we can go ahead and do that. Or again, you can do this with encoder and just use H.264. And then I just use YouTube uh, typically for quick viewing. And it's gonna take this nearly one gig file and compress it down uh, so you have something that you can send out for review, right? So again, I'll bring this back here and you can see now I have two versions. We have the handbrake test and there you go. So this is coming out much nicer and full real time and full detail. 
and you can see how how well that plays and then you can see the encoder version we have that here and it's just playing through vlc and we can see everything that's that's playing through now this is so you can focus on the animation so you can see this in the true proper final uh, playback speed which is going to be 24 or 30 frames per second or maybe 60 depending on what you're trying to create all right you see this a lot a, what this is called is a, called previs and just you know sending your animations for uh, approval so you can give this to your, your lead or if you're in school give it to your instructor uh, but always make sure to go through because now you can and, and compress these you can see that you can do 14 megs um, handbrake takes it even lower to about one meg uh, and that's taking it down from nearly a gig now if you you can go ahead and just use the default settings here as well. And you can actually just try to encode using uh, different compressions. I do recommend using the X.264, X uh, excuse me, X264. Um, it's probably the one that's gonna give you the best results. And that'll go ahead and uh, do that. And I'll just go ahead and save that uh, as a different play blast. And I'll call that three. And it's going to go ahead and do that and you can see it's uh, going to compress it as it's animating or it'll compress it once it's done and there it goes okay all right so we can take a look here at the end here and see where we started with so this is where we started you can see just the crummy looking uh, play blast that was created even though it's the proper frames per second it just doesn't look that good and then we can take a look at uh, increasing the quality which is what we did here so we're starting to get even better but you can still see the aliasing that's happening is still pretty distracting and then finally we went ahead uh, after adjusting the play blast options we adjusted the viewport 2.0 options and then we ended up with this right which looks really really good and then of course the final setting was or the final step was going through and compressing this down to a much better uh, user-friendly file size so we're only at about two megs or one meg here versus having about uh, a gig's worth so i'm gonna keep this uh right around uh about 10 12 minutes don't want to go any further i hope these tips were helpful this was a little bit more than just simply going here and doing a play blast but i wanted to at least show you guys all the techniques that i use that's just going to help you down the road and uh, get the most out of your play blast and so people can really focus on what matters which is your animations so if you found this helpful of course, uh, a like always helps. Just a simple like to help the channel grow. Uh, comment uh, and subscribe as well if you got any questions or you'd like me to cover anything in the future. So with that, take care, everyone, and I'll see you around.